Oh gosh, that's many years back, over 40 odd years back as a youngster living in uh, Worley where I was quite mad on sport playing football and stuff. And I did actually probably start my early doors as a volunteer being a committee member for a Worley Tennis Club, which was quite uh, daunting at the time. Didn't know what I was doing, but it was starting my learning curve, which uh, led on to a good number of years later when I was able to pursue my own uh, sport of playing football, girls, women football, uh, and playing for a club. And then soon fast realising there wasn't much opportunity for volunteers within girls, women's football, so I became a football coach, referee, administrator, uh, which led me into the volunteering pathways which uh, I've been doing for gosh, 45 years, I think, or more. Even though I've sort of retired, I'm still involved and quite happy to give my advice, etc., to two people involved in volunteering because it's a wonderful experience of uh, not least you imparting your knowledge and information but helping others to take part. Um, having been given the fantastic honour of carrying the torch last year and seeing the impact it's having on people in the community, no amount of money can buy. But for me, what sung out really last year was I play sport at a higher level. I've been involved in the sport as a volunteer, but it's all about taking part. And I would recommend to anybody, however, big, whatever skills you've got, whether you've got communicators, marketing, whatever, is to uh, go out there and just help others. I really enjoy that, and that gives me probably the most satisfaction. And I suppose I'm more different to many volunteers. You don't jump up and down about what you've done, but it just gave me great pleasure when people come up and say thank you for the help you've given to me in my own particular career. I suppose you look at things like communication, good customer code, because it's, it's great encouraging people into sport, but if you want them to keep them there, you've really got to look after people. So I suppose customer skills will be, uh, customer care skills will be high up on the list. Obviously, communication, be able to talk to different people at different ages, different abilities. And not least, don't assume that people just want to come into sport to play at the top. People may just want to participate. So, communication skills. And then, obviously, other things if you've got skills in sort of marketing, if you're good on the PC, that sort of thing. But for me, customer care skills and good communication, sing out loud and clear. Yes, just go for it. Absolutely go for it and get out there. The rewards are immense. Even though you might go through ups and downs as you all do in your volunteering experience, but it's the reward of seeing happy, smiling people that makes it worthwhile.